like this is three days into a roller coaster of doing really shit, doing really good, doing really shit, doing really good. Um, I don't know what is what it is with the last few days, but um, they've been busy, ed wise. Um, so I don't really want to go into pick, I'm picking every little fine detail. I think I just want to say what's happened and kind of leave it there um so since my video yesterday morning um i spent the day with a friend yesterday and i'd taken a modafinil um in the morning and i thought it wasn't having an influence on my appetite um which was weird because it usually massively reduces appetite um i, I use it as a drug to do that um but i felt like it wasn't really doing that um but i also found that i felt i found it much much easier to make what i'd frame as sensible choices around food so i find myself doing things like leaving half of the food on my plate and doing things like leaving i had a big plate of vegetables at lunch with sort of cheese and corn and things like that and I left half the veg and usually I would sort of hoover down veg because it's so low calorie it's basically free so you may as well eat all of it and I, I just end up uncomfortably full but not satisfied and I didn't do that I kind of felt like I was eating intuitively ish you know by my standards um and Somehow I didn't think that was anything to do with the modafinil, but I'm now, it, it happened again in the evening. Um, me, me and that friend had decided to buy basically pudding for dinner and have a movie night. Um, I got to dinner time and I was like, I don't actually want this. I just want something savoury. So I had something savoury and it was good. And I, I genuinely didn't want the pudding, but now this morning... So last night, during the night, I woke up in the middle of the night wanting to eat. The only thing that I could find that was available was raw butternut squash, which is actually quite tasty, but it's a fucking vegetable. And it wasn't really what I wanted, but I still numbed through everything I had, bar one piece. Um, and that was qu quite a lot of butternut squash, so I just couldn't face the last piece I didn't want it. Um, and then I woke up this morning, and I was just in fuck it mode um and i'm restocking everything today my, my friend is coming around to help with that but it's just been a like it's obviously a bit of a complicated thing to kind of get someone else to do so there's just been a few teething troubles and a few things missing from the boxes and we're putting what's missing back in this morning so all my keys opened instead of just my breakfast key opening and um i just I don't know what the reasons are, but I ate three cupcakes, one from each day. So that happened. Um, and yeah, that's where I'm at now. Um, <laughs> okay, we have, we have a visitor. <laughs> this is not, this is not my kitten. This is my friend's kitten that's been staying with me. Um, <laughs> expecting him to be on camera but there we go um here he is so I'm I'm gonna leave it there but it is what it is and I'm not I could call three cupcakes a binge but it doesn't feel like a binge because I'm not uncomfortably full it's loads of calories but I'm less freaked out by the calories than I would have been in the past and I'm definitely not gonna restrict at all I, I've sort of set up today's meals to be a bit lower calorie, but I've got all the extras in my cupboard. You know, I've got um, quinoa in my cupboard. I've got extra olive oil. I've got, so, you know, I've got things to make the calories up if I'm hungry enough for them. So it doesn't feel like restriction. And I'm having three more meals today. And I haven't, I know I've eaten about 1200 calories this morning and I'm not going to compensate for them. I know I won't be able to. And... I feel okay with that. So that's new. Um, 
and I'm really looking forward to setting up all the lock boxes and knowing that I've got today plus five more days ahead of me before there's any sort of changeover of any kind and kind of any wiggle room for fuck ups. Um, providing, I mean, I, I, you know, I am, I am me, so if I really need to find wiggle room for fuck ups, I'll find it. But it feels quite secure at the moment. Um, yeah. So that's that for today.